It was a somber mood in the main parliamentary parking lot as the body of deceased senior UPDF officer and former Army MP, Major General Julia Soketa, was brought in. As the body lay in state in the parliament lobby, hundreds of mourners, led by the deputy speaker, paid their last respects to the veteran soldier. The widow, the general's children and relatives were also present at parliament. At 2 p.m., the body was taken into the chambers. A motion to pay tribute to the former army MP and battle-hardened general was moved by Prime Minister Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda and seconded by the leader of opposition, Winnie Kiza. The resolution of Parliament pay tribute to the late Honorable Major General Julius Akokeka for his dedicated service. All I remember lingering in my ear, in my, in my memory, was the salute he would give whenever he would find each one of us, and the greeting would be, I respect the civilian authority. What does this mean? He believed and truly espoused the notion that the army is the people's servant. Dr. Rugunda also clarified the cause of General Oketa's death. He died of massive coronal embolism, which really means the blood clot in the land. The MPs described Oketa as a person who did all in his power to see a better Uganda and a man who had deep respect for humanity. His energies were not only confined to the area that he served, but his energies were for the poor people, his energies were for those voices that would not come out. But from whom to the NLA, to NLA, to UPDF, he was serving his country and not decided the political leaders at that time, or in those various positions. It was not a conspiratorial, he didn't have intrigue, uh, which many people suffer from. Uh, he was straight he, when you were dealing with him. He's really a man who deserved to stay on this planet much longer. But I've come to believe for sure that even God wants the best of the best. But as the tributes poured in, some MPs demanded that the procedure for promotions in the army should be streamlined. If you don't get work from your area, you don't get deployment, you don't get promotion. This is unacceptable. And as a political leader, I want to sound this as a warning. It is must stop. There must be a criteria where still lies in the law. This man should not have been rejected. Now, somebody must talk about it. Oketa, who held a PhD in management, served in the army in different capacities for nearly 30 years. Some MPs demanded that Major General Oketa be promoted posthumously. This is an advisory note to the commander chief, to the promotion board of UPDF. If you have implications, Mr. Speaker, especially on the defender, when you promote it, because he deserves it. We are not yet trying to work that what is now. Minister of Defense, Minister of Prime Minister, sir. Yes, we can criticize Minister of Defense that the rights are not given that kind of thing. But we can say that this one does not deserve this rank, this one deserves it. This man is deserving a general and a Born in 1956, Oketa is survived by a widow and nine children. He will be buried on Thursday at his ancestral home in Pabo, Amuru district. Thank you.